Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. We are starting out this video at 5.30 and I'm about to get ready and do my makeup to go look at Christmas lights. Today I'm going to be taking you along with me as I get into the holiday spirit, get into the Christmas spirit. Thanksgiving was two days ago now so I feel like it's officially time to just fully immerse into Christmas and the holidays and I'm so ready for it. So I'm going to this little town near my house that always has like a really big Christmas light display every year. I have like two go-to winter makeup looks that I've been doing every time. I do my makeup. One of them is the one I'm about to show you and it's a little bit more like reddish toned, like burgundy almost. And the other one is like frosty pink, like the I'm cold makeup. I'll probably show that in a different video, but we're doing the like reddish burgundy makeup tonight. I'm also excited because I have some new products I've been using that I'm going to show you today that were sent to me by Merit. So thank you so much to Merit. I've mentioned it in a few of my videos, but I've really been trying to shift my products from toxic to non-toxic. Like I've been and trying to switch over and use as many clean skincare and makeup products as I possibly can. So what I really love about Merit is that they are a clean, non-toxic beauty brand. And Merit's whole philosophy is that it's clean, it's cruelty-free and vegan, which is also important to me. I'm using the Le Gloss set today, which is a new set that they launched this month. I just started going in with the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. Next, I've been using this solo shadow in the shade Glossé. And it's amazing because it's like a highlight. Like as soon as I put it on, my skin just glows. But you can also use it as like eyeshadow and I feel like just all over your face. <laughs> it's on my nose. Next, I want to like warm up my face a little bit. So I use the OG contour stick in the shade Obsidian. Kind of just put that around my face. And on my forehead too. It looks really silly right now, but it always blends in really nicely. <laughs> I don't really use foundation, I just use concealer. So I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I just put this wherever I'm breaking out. Also like my eyelids, my nose right there, and right there on my eyes. For blush, I like to use the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Storm. This is like my favorite of all time shade of cloud paint. I've repurchased it so many times and I feel like it's the perfect burgundy kind of color. And put a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. I feel like November has been such a weird month and it always kind of feels like a weird month. It's not quite Christmas yet. It's also not really fall anymore, but it's not really winter yet. And the whole month just feels weird to me. I don't know if anybody else experiences that, but I'm honestly really excited to go into December because I'm like done with this month. I really just don't like November. I don't really like Thanksgiving. It's probably my least favorite holiday, honestly. <laughs> and I have some really fun things planned for December. I have like a fun trip I'm gonna take and I'm so excited for, so. I just feel like it's gonna be a better month. I'm gonna lightly fill in my brows with this e.l.f. brow lift pencil and I use the shade blonde. Even though my eyebrows aren't blonde, it matches them, it works, you know. And next, I'm gonna set my brows with the Merit Brow Gel. Then I'm going to set some parts of my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I like to go over my cream bronzer with powder bronzer. So this is the Milk Chocolate Too Faced Bronzer, which is my favorite. And I'll also use that as eyeshadow. And then I have this Becca like highlighter in the shade Truffle and I kind of use that as eyeshadow. It's just like a goldish bronzy color. Then I'll use some brown pencil liner and make a slight wing on the edge of my eyes. Top it off with the Merit Clean Lash Mascara. For the lips, I'm using this Merit Lip Liner. It's in the shade Bespoke. Bespoke? Oh, that word sounds weird. I'll just lightly line my lips. It's kind of like a browny nude-ish color. I'll put like a blot of Revlon Black Cherry lipstick in the center, kind of. And sometimes I also will top it with the Glossier Hot Cocoa. It just adds like a little glossiness on top and moisture, but it's like the same color as the lips already. Here's the finished look. And there will be a link in my description if you want to check out Merit's website and their products. But now let's go pick out an outfit because I'm running late and I need to get dressed. I kind of want to wear a sweater. I'm thinking this sweater from Brandy Melville with this H&M skirt and some fleece line tights with like black boots. Here's what the outfit is looking like. My boots are still connected. This is my first time wearing them. So I have to like cut this thing off, but I think it's so cute. And I have these new earrings on that are from Unroot and I love them. We 
just got here and it is popping. But we're about to go get food at this Italian restaurant. So that's gonna be really yummy, but it's so busy here. Is he not supposed to hit it? Maybe it'll break it. Oh, my hands are freezing. perfect winter day. We had the second real snow of the year last night or of the season I should say. It snowed on Halloween but it was like way too early for it then. It just felt weird so this was the second snow and this definitely feels like the time that there should be snow so it's so pretty outside. Have the house all cozy. I have like little Christmas lights on under here. I'm in my Christmas pajama shorts from Target and I'm gonna do some baking. I want to make some sugar cookies. I have this box of cookie cutters that are like Christmassy shapes and stuff. Like I just think that's gonna be really fun. And then later on, my mom and I are gonna put up the Christmas tree and do some decorating around the house, watch some Christmas movies. It's just gonna be an amazing Christmassy night. I feel like I've already been in the kitchen all day. I made banana bread earlier and I also like cooked food earlier um, and then I cleaned the whole kitchen. So we're about to make it messy again, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm gonna make some sugar cookies. I never really make sugar cookies because I'm like, I feel like there are better baked goods. You know, they're not the most amazing or delicious thing in my opinion but I kind of want to switch it up and I haven't done this in a really long time so we're gonna make some I'm gonna ice them with just sweet icing and then I have some sprinkles I'm gonna use let's get started chilling in the fridge right now. It was kind of like not super, like it felt very crumbly and I followed the recipe exactly. So I don't know. It is kind of funky sometimes when I make vegan recipes, they don't always turn out as well something non-vegan would but i'm just hoping that it rolls out nicely it did form into a ball and everything but it just it wasn't like the same as non-vegan sugar cookie dough so hopefully it turns out all good i just sifted the powdered sugar for the icing and it's so beautiful i love sifting things in the kitchen like sifting flour or powdered sugar and it's just so perfectly smooth after so this is beautiful
done they turned out pretty good they're not like amazing they don't look perfect but i was honestly getting so sick of being in the kitchen <laughs> i sat down for a little bit it's almost 7 30 now but i just put on some long pants they look almost exactly like the shorts i was wearing except they're long because i'm freezing cold now it's time to decorate the house which is what i'm most excited for i love doing this every year we're gonna go put up the tree put up lights around the house it's gonna be very cute out of breath from bringing this stuff up this is what we've got so far brought up this box which has the tree in it we've had this tree for my whole life as long as i can remember but we're gonna put it up in that spot in that corner favorite step every year which is fluffing the tree basically going branch to branch and fluffing them and it makes your hands feel all numb honestly i might put gloves on to do it because the sensory issues i can't so just put my hair out the bow and i do feel a little bit like a toddler or a cheerleader but it's okay i think it's cute and my hair was annoying me <laughs> out that I couldn't do the full decorating that I wanted to do so we just did some more this morning I still have some more to do but I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here we're kind of disorganized with it this room is just full of boxes and stuff and we're still figuring out what we want to put out but we just put up those snowflakes and I think it's so pretty and the tree's looking amazing I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video I hope it helped you get into the holiday spirit and just the spirit of winter and Christmas time if you celebrate Christmas there will be lots of cozy wintry videos coming up so stay tuned for that and comment the Christmas tree emoji if you watched all the way up until this point thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys